Hi everyone, Pastor Frank here. Just to let you know that today, November the 14th, 2019. Revelation chapter 16 verse 15. Behold, I am coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. The facts cannot be overlooked. The last day facts are in our face now on a daily basis. Are you missing the last day signs? Lord, I hope not as we are much too close to seeing Jesus fulfill the rest of the prophecies that need to be finished before he returns. Time is short. In the Old Testament, there is a prophecy about a future war against Israel. That prophecy is found in Psalm 83. This is what the first part of the psalm says. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for, lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones, they have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. In the picture below you will see the nations that Psalm chapter 83 is warning us about. One of the people that will join in on the attack against Israel are the Palestinians who live in the Gaza Strip. At present this is where the Islamic Jihad is which are part of the Palestinians and of course Hamas. At the present time Israel again is facing missiles being launched from the same people as listed in that Psalm prophecy. Today in Fox News it was reported that 400 rockets have been launched at the Jews. Over the years I have continued to warn people that the enemies like those in the Gaza will never stop launching rockets and missiles at Israel. Check out some of my past warnings concerning the PLO not stopping their attacks on Israel. Below are three of my quotes which you Google if you like. October 29th 2013 keep in mind that the demands by the PLO in the peace talks are what most. We may not be able to give you the exact details on everything but God has. Hamas will never stop launching rockets at Israel. Here we are almost five years later and the enemy of Israel is continuing to fire rocket at the Jews. March 9th, 2012 my book was written in the hope that those reading it will be driven to the in my video I said the PLO would not stop sending rockets into Israel, the bowl on the sun. And the sun was given power to scorch people with fire. April 7, 2010 I keep telling you the PLO will not stop these types of living under their jurisdiction to continue firing rockets and mortars at Jewish pounds. Hello, you'll see another one of my warnings, January 2009, with the headline birth pangs and how they will affect you January 31st, 2009, which you can find also at my website still. Notice what I said in the blue. I told you you will see the Hamas start right up and launching more rockets into Israel. As you can see from the news below, as the past when Israel attacks the PLO, the PLO asks for a ceasefire. Then when Israel gives them that ceasefire, it isn't long before the PLO starts sending more of these rockets at the Jews. Now here is another article connecting the points between prophecies and what I'm discussing today. The headline, right before ceasefire, Israel offs another terrorist mastermind. Ceasefire broken four hours later. Listen to this report. Ma'an News reported that Egyptian intelligence reached a truce agreement approved by Islamic Jihad and the occupying power, which came into effect at 5.30 a.m. Thursday. Islamic Jihad spokesman Musab al-Brahim confirmed the deal had been reached. The agreement stipulates that Israel will agree to the terms of the Islamic Jihad movement. Most notably the cessation of assassinations as well as a ceasefire regarding the demonstrators of the marches of return, which must be kept peaceful, but after only four hours. Gaza broke the ceasefire with at least five rockets fired into Israel. Israel increased the frequency of its strikes and expanded the type of targets. As IAF fighter jets reportedly attacked 10 Islamic Jihad rocket launching teams as the mortars were being launched, killing at least 20. These precision strikes were executed in collaboration between the Southern Command, the Air Force and the IDF intelligence unit. 
They have reportedly limited the Islamic Jihad's capabilities to fire rockets at Israeli civilians. No one can tell you for sure exactly how the Psalm 83 war will start. Could it start as a result of the Jews pressing to build their third temple? It could because to the Muslims any change in allowing Jews to pray on the Temple Mount to the Muslims an act of war. Could it start if the next Prime Minister gives the okay to actually build that third temple? You bet. Could the war begin because of the constant barrage on rockets to the point where Israel has to use another ground assault which could lead to the escalating where where the other nations listed in the Psalm 83 war are pulled into that conflict? Current events show us Israel is surrounded by people who over the years have continued to call for Israel's destruction just as the Psalm warns us. How about a huge earthquake that bring down the Dome of the Rock which stands on the Temple Mount? This earthquake could be a sign to the Jews now is the time to build that temple. Only the Lord knows what is going to happen to start that war. But one thing is very clear. That war is coming soon. As I said in the past, I say again, don't expect the PLO to stop launching rockets or missiles at Israel. It isn't going to happen. Now here is something to think about. What if via these rockets being fired at the Jews were these rockets to help the Jews in their quest to build that third temple and force Muslims to attack. Take a look at the report below and you won't think that this can happen. The headline to this report, thanks to rockets, police inadvertently ordered Jews to fulfill Isaiah's prophecy on Temple Mount. So listen to what this article has to say, a portion of it at least. You can see the link there and you can go to my website, click that link, and read the entire article if you'd like. In an ironic twist, it may be the Islamic Jihad who will bring about this messianic scenario. On Tuesday, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ, fired over 160 projectiles at Israel with some reaching as far as Tel Aviv. The PIJ released a statement that they intended to target Jerusalem in their next wave of attacks. If color red sirens sound in Jerusalem while Jews are on the temple, Isaiah's prophecy will manifest itself explicitly for the first time since the destruction of the second temple. Have my warnings over these many years concerning the PLOs not stopping firing rockets and missiles spot on? Yes. And the news keeps validating what I have been warning you. The news below from November 13th 2019 will again reinforce my warnings. The headline to this news, Islamic Jihad is regrouping after severe blows. Listen to this report. The Islamic Jihad terror organization in Gaza is regrouping, having fired more than 250 rockets at Israeli population centers as of Wednesday morning. An IDF spokesman said the military spokesperson said the group was reorganizing its forces after it sustained severe hits from the IDF and was expected to fire more rockets. Islamic Jihad has resumed its rocket fire. The organization is being measured in its use of rockets, launching one every Every seven minutes or so in the hope of prolonging its capability to attack Israel, the spokesman said. In another section of the same report it stated the following, but he added, It is a very delicate situation and we are continuing to prepare for escalation although we hope none will come. Anyone who have read the Psalm chapter 83 war warning and trusts what God has warned us knows without a doubt there is going to be an escalation between the Jews and its enemies. Now we're going to move on a little bit to to the invasion against Israel, which is another prophecy. The word of the Lord came to me, this is what it says in the book of Ezekiel chapter 38, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the chief prince of Metesh and Tabal, prophesying against him and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says, I am against you, O Gog, chief prince of Metesh and Tabal, I will turn you around Put hooks in your jaws and bring you out with your whole army, your horses, 
your horsemen fully armored, and a great horde with large and small shields, all of them brandishing their swords. Persia, Cush, and Put will be with them, all with shields and helmets, also Gomar with all its troops, and Beth Togomar from the far north with all its troops, the many nations with you. Of course, that was Ezekiel chapter 38, verses 1 through 6. After the Psalm 83 war, Israel will again face yet another war against an even bigger attack. This time it will not be the nations that border with Israel. For a complete breakdown on this prophecy, you can read the chapter entitled Invasion Against Israel in my book. What we know from this prophecy is in the last days, Israel will be very much alone when this massive attack takes place. Nations from all over the place are going to try to wipe out the Jews. In the news, we are seeing the headlines showing that the Lord is setting this future prophecy up to be fulfilled. Notice in the prophecy above, I highlighted in yellow the many nations with you. Take a look at Malaysia, as they have already stated that they will invade Jerusalem on an order. Here's the headline to that report. Islamic Malaysia says its army is on standby waiting for the signal to invade Jerusalem and take it from the Jews. Listen to this. Defense Minister Hisham Yudnantan Hussein said the country should be prepared to face any eventuality. As the Defense Minister, I am confident that we will carry out any order from the Supreme Commander of the Malaysian Armed Forces, Yang Di Pertuan Agong, Sultan Muhammad V. Armed Forces Chief General Tan Sri Raja Muhammad Afandi Raja Muhammad Noor and the MAF are definitely ready, Mr. Husham Yudin, who is also UMNO Vice President, said when winding up the debate at the UMNO General Assembly 2017 on Saturday, December 9th. Mr. Hisham Yudin said the United States' plan to make Jerusalem the capital of Israel was a slap in the face for the entire Muslim world. So little by little, events are taking place in the Middle East for the setup of two wars. Psalm 83 war, and then the war after the Ezekiel 38 war, which the Lord gives us very specific information about both these wars. Now we're going to move on to yet another prophecy, and this one has to do with diseases. In part of Matthew 24, 7, Jesus warned us to look for the last day's sign of disease. In my book, in many of my posts, and in many of my YouTube videos, I warn to watch for more of these superbugs to appear. Has that warning also come to pass? Take a look at the news below and see for yourself what I warned is happening. Am I anyone special knowing these things? Not at all. What I am is a person who has read the Word of God in the Bible and believes His messages to us. As a result of my faith in the Lord's warning, I have no problem telling you what is going to happen in the future. Well, it's not Frank DeMora's warning. It really is Christ's warning. All I'm doing is letting you know what Jesus has stated, and it is up to you to believe that message or reject it. I hope you choose to receive it and be ready when Jesus does return as promised. Now here's the latest report. You'll see the headline, On the Rise, New CDC Report Finds Threat has increased from previous report in 2013. Listen to what this says. The report has revealed that drug-resistant superbugs are deadlier than originally thought. The new Antibiotic Resistance Threats Report comes from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and highlights the increased threat of these drug-resistant infections. According to the report, Nearly 2.8 million people suffer infections from these superbugs every year. Of those, 35,000 people die from these stronger infections. The report was formulated by looking at bacteria and fungi, finding 21 different infections and categorizing them as urgent threats, serious threats, 
concerning threats and watch list. However, it does not include parasites or viruses like influenza or HIV. The results of the 2019 report are also higher than in the previous R threat report published in 2013. It was found at the time that around 2 million people suffered from drug-resistant infections. With nearly 23,000 dying from said infections, germs continue to spread and develop new types of resistance. And progress may be undermined by some community-associated infections that are on the rise, the report says. Now here's yet another report on the same issue about diseases. The headline to this report Emerging infectious diseases. Listen to what it says. Emerging infectious diseases are infections that have recently appeared within a population or those whose incidence or geographic range is rapidly increasing or threatens to increase in the near future. Emerging infections can be caused by previously undetected or unknown infectious agents, known agents that have spread to new geographic locations or new populations, previously known agents whose role in specific diseases has previously gone unrecognized, re-emergence of agents whose incidence of disease had significantly declined in the past but whose incidence of disease has reappeared. This class of diseases is known as re-emerging infectious diseases. The World Health Organization warned in its 2007 report that infectious diseases are emerging at a rate that has not been seen before. Since the 1970s, about 40 infectious diseases have been discovered, including SARS, MERS, Ebola, chikungunya, avian flu, swine flu, and, most recently, Zika with people traveling much more frequently and far greater distances than in the past, living in more densely populated areas, and coming into closer contact with wild animals. The potential for emerging infectious diseases to spread rapidly and cause global epidemics is a major concern. Now check this one out. This is another headline that just came up about the bubonic plague outbreak. This article has to do with China. Listen to what it says. Chinese authorities announced Tuesday that two people have been diagnosed with pneumonic plague at a hospital in Beijing. Yes. As in the Black Death, which wiped out some 50 million of the world's population during the Middle Ages. Alarmingly, it's the second instance of the plague hitting the region in a matter of months. After last May, a Mongolian couple died from bubonic plague after consuming the raw kidney of a marmot based on a local folk practice. So, if you go to my book, you'll see page after page after page about the superbugs, about the new diseases that are popping up, and how the medical profession are trying to keep up with these diseases, in many cases, are antibiotic-resistant. Now, when we talk about diseases, there's another section in the Bible where it talks about diseases and circumstances around the birds, the fish, and the animals that will be dying off in the last days. We know for assuredly that there are diseases that are killing off humans, but there are specific prophecies, and I'm showing you one from Hosea chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, that the Lord warned about the birds, the fish, and the animals that will be dying off in mass numbers as well. So what I've done here, I have taken the latest news from the birds, fish, and animals that I haven't yet put in my book, and I'm posting them today. And you can see from the 12th here of November, and you'll go to my website, and you'll see the list is growing with animals, birds, and fish, that are dying off in these different countries and it's continuing and I'm going to warn you like I've been warning over the years about the rockets going in Israel the birds, the fish and the animals those reports are going to continue to come in dying off in mass numbers because it's fulfillment of Bible prophecy we're in the birth paying times of the last days whether you believe it or not it's happening and there's nothing you can do about it except Get ready for it. The only way you can do that is by receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Having your name written in the Lord's book of life. You'd be crazy not to do it since the Lord loves you beyond measure and he wants you in his kingdom. And the only person stopping you is Satan because he's been filling the world with lies 
and trying to destroy the kingdom of God, which is never going to happen. So save yourself a lot of grief and a lot of pain by receiving the Lord's love and his salvation for you. I want to make sure that you understand what I have shown you today is only an example of what you're going to see in these last days. To see just how close we are to the second coming of Jesus, I recommend you read my book. The book is free to you today. It will give you a much bigger picture of many prophecies, not just the ones that I covered here in the post today. Ask yourself this question. Is Frank right about Jesus' warning and his promise to return to earth? And after studying the Bible since 1977 and watching the news, I can tell you without a doubt, we are in the last day birth pain Jesus warned us about. Jesus showed us in Matthew chapter 24, the people who witnessed the rebirth of Israel would be alive to see the second coming of the Lord. As a matter of fact, it says this in Matthew chapter 24, starting in verse 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. The fig tree in Matthew 24 is Israel, and Israel was born a second time in 1948. We are the generation who are going to see all of these things that are listed in the scriptures, in those prophecies that Jesus wants us to keep on a watch for. I want to thank everyone who's been coming to my YouTube channel. I'd ask that you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please go over to my website and send me a note. My email address will be there. And let me know that you did subscribe because I want to make sure that this channel is registering the number of people who are really subscribing to my YouTube channel because I really believe that the number is higher than what it really is. And I can have a check and balances by letting me know at my website that you in fact did subscribe to the channel. The news that I gave to you today doesn't seem like it's good news unless you know Jesus Christ. Because for those of us who know Jesus Christ and waiting for his promise to be fulfilled, we know that one of these days we're going to be taken from this planet and brought into the kingdom of God in heaven. Most of you know the word the rapture. Sooner or later it's going to happen. And you need to get ready now since we're very, very close to that second coming of the Lord. This is Pastor Frank DeMora saying, God bless, thank you, and hoping today that this message will encourage you to receive Jesus as your Savior.